the eve of the festival was pretty good. I enjoyed the world building by interacting with different world leaders around, you know, the Tensura world. And Shuna also was just going crazy with their description of how each dish is supposed to be interconnected with different dishes. And we're all supposed to live in harmony. I'm like, girl, it ain't that deep, but it kind of is. That Rotso girl? She's she just there. Just chilling. Doesn't look like... It seems like... Everyone thinks she's like a random little girl and no one's like blinking an eye, but I guess she's just there to check out what, you know, Tensor is all about and, you know, the Jura Tempest and maybe she'll be convinced that we're good people, maybe not. I mean, right now it does feel like this is like a temporary peace, truce, where everyone is showing up for the festival to have a good time and then after we go back home, maybe we're gonna, you know, start up war shit again. But hey, last episode, pretty decent. The festival should be today. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> The kids. Right. Like, how much did they actually know about Rimuru? Because last episode, it took me a while to figure it out. But it's like, wait, the kids really don't know shit. Like, to the extent of what Rimuru even is. A demon lord, octogram, ruler of Jura Tempest. Like, this should be a show. Hinata? Chaperone? Okay. I think that makes sense, because, you know, it's Shizu's kids. Hinata was also, you know, previous Shizu, you know, it's basically big sister here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Nation's opening festival. It means we're starting, but the whole episode isn't just going to be like... Before the main festival starts, it's about the opening ceremony. Surely you're not gonna bait me. Sure, surely you're not fucking baiting me right now, right? Tied, sure. Tag! I love this about Hinata. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Straight up destroy them right now. Tag! Dead end rainbow Ken Chan right now. Destroy his soul. Disintegrate his ass. One month. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. When you say surpass, you're t you're telling me power scaling? I thought that like Hinata had some sort of Issues with, you know, uh, dependence and being left uh, out because of her family back home, right? She killed her parents. No, not her parents. She killed her dad. That dad was a piece of shit, though. But I thought that there was some sort of dependency shit and maybe there was a clash of, I don't know, perspective and Hinata decided to leave Shizu. But it sounds like, like she did surpass her also in one month. Like, it's that OP. Also, surpass doesn't mean that she left her in one month, right? But, okay, in one month, she overpowered Shizu. <laughs> They're all glazing her. Nice. <laughs> You're kind of mean to kids like me, but I trust you. Geld will be very good with kids too. <laughs> Yeah, so do you. <laughs> You're the one saying you remind me of Shizu Sensei? You are the splitting image of Shizu, Chloe. There's something about you that's uncanny, as if you are the fucking hero, like reincarnator or some shit. Is she coming? Where is she at? Luminous is showing up in a maid outfit? Why? Why maid outfit? She got excited. She got a maid outfit? Okay. <laughs> why? She got delighted so she got a maid outfit. But why a maid outfit? Cosplaying? Is she roleplaying to be a maid? I don't know, but okay. Kami, Luminous. Gazelle. Gazelle the fraud. Gazelle the fraud, bro. I'm not letting it go. <laughs> this girl got him on a fucking leash, bro. <laughs> oh, it's a whole ass orchestra! It's... Huh? What? 
light novel shit. Because I first time I've seen his ass, but maybe in the light novel they had a little bit more about tact. But okay, we got the main composer, uh, the director. Sorry, what 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 is this position? It's the conductor. Before we, there's some there's a really cool line about this whole conductor thing. It's 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 a super edgy tuny line, but the, I think the line is he who ah, what was that? He who. Conductor philosophical line. He who leads must face the face against the audience or some shit. What, what is that fucking line? Oh yeah, it's called if a man wants to if a man who wants to lead an orchestra, he must turn his back to the crowd. That's the line. I read that once and I was like, yo, that's kind of deep. Because like, you know, he's like orchestrating and he's the one conducting. But he can never see the audience. That is, that, and, and he can't get the recognition until the very end, right? So, like, in order to lead, you need to also be, like, selfless and not turn the audience... I don't know. It, it was always like a, damn, that's, like, too deep for me kind of line. Wow. Oh, Dryads! Trainee Sisters! The music is pretty good. When did they get violin lessons? The fuck? <laughs> we got Mr. Minotaur on the fucking tambourines. Yo, we got the. Sorry, sorry uh, it's a percussion. I forget. Timpani or something. And then we got a raccoon here with the triangles. Gavi the crew trumpet. Yo! The Dwarf Brothers. What? Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Wait. Oh. Oh my god. Shuna and Shion? Dude, Shion on the violin? Are you serious? Wow. Shuna! Shion! Yo, yeah! Someone like Shion playing the violin? Something so delicate and. I, I don't know! Because, like. It, it's kind of crazy that like these monsters are just figuring out how to play these instruments like you don't just figure this shit out in like one week It takes years and years of practice to get to this level <laughs> that kind of shion can play violin What if it's trash, bro? Let's go shuna Ooh. She's a real deal. She's a real deal Look how elegant and sophisticated she looks here, bro. This is not the Shion I know. Wow. Luminous! The animation is way better. As soon as I say that PowerPoint presentation, but before they were cooking, bro. The animation for them playing was really good. <laughs> wow. Now, is it possible to use certain like um what what your your master chef? You have like optimal action and certain outcomes, something, something, like even the violin, if she just touches it, she just can perform better. Does that make sense? Right? Because, like, she don't... I, I could believe it. I could totally believe it. Oh. Luminous. Luminous, bro. First one to clap. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? To overcome prejudice and discrimination, the orchestra thing, Rimuru made a comment, but the people are also saying, who cares if it's a human or a monster, it's beautiful regardless. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Sports, arts, yeah, anything. Smart. And they never even mentioned the orchestra or some sort of music stuff. So this is just like a shock to me. But damn, smart. Great. That's right. Good food, good music, sports, some sort of entertainment, right? Things that even if people are full of prejudice, they slowly start to realize that, huh, you know, you and I, we're not too different after all. 
Trains, man. Trains. Yeah, this is the future. Optimal transport of goods through railways. Bro, this is it, man. Fuck somebody up, kill somebody that's like sleeping right now and then pull the, pour the potion on them, that'll wake them up. There's a Dracula beside us. You see that? This, what Dracula looking at? He's got the collar popped, ear? Little teeth? What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. A sword? I thought that potion was limited to like organic substances and injuries, but this is a sword. What the fuck? You can't. What? Have we ever seen the potion actually heal inanimate objects as well? Just inorganic substances? No, right? I don't think so. Huh. Did their potions get better? Will, sentience, intelligence, soul. So if you have a soul, you can heal it. Okay. Collection of the spiritrons that make up magicules make the difference. Collection of spiritrons, soul, magicule, sure. Luck lights. FTL. But if it did, it can be healed? <laughs> when does the sword have a will? Keep cooking, Gabiru! Did Gabiru just go through a crazy breakthrough that's, that's like worthy of like Nobel Prize accomplishments? What are you talking about? Even, even, even he didn't know. But Gabiru knew? Vesta, watch what you know. Apparently a sword has a soul, a will of its own. I don't know exactly how, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, or this was just fucking glue. And we're scamming them right now. You think this is just glue? And we're just scamming them right now? <laughs> There's no way, right? It would look so bad on us when they're all visiting. For us to scam them, it's a horrible look. There's no way this is a scam, but... For whatever reason, the sword does have a soul, a will of its own. Therefore, even if it's not perfect, it can uh, start to heal. Sure. Degree of growth. Right. So Rimuru's sword, right? Doesn't it literally grow with him? The potential of the sword is not fully realized yet. It's going to continue to get better. There's these different weapons that grows with the user. The will, the soul, it all gets connected like that. Oh man, this should be a huge moment for Vesta. Straight up, this is Vesta's redemption. Because Vesta got kicked out of Dwarga, remember? And this is kind of punishment. Isn't this, is this the first time that Vesta has seen Gazel since then? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. So more clarification, not just the soul, but healing potions only work on things that have an affinity with magicules. Yeah. Sorry, one second. Shitty ass fucking airpods. What are magicals? Good question. Alright. Uh, they're different? Okay, okay. It is simply the regular plant with magicules. Different 
things with magicules makes them evolve. Just like that example with Grassin should evolve into Terrainy, right? The whole example here is in its base state, sure, but add a little magicules, they start fucking evolving soul, will, potion work. Okay. That's crazy. Now, it might be kind of boring to some people, but like, this is kind of like an earth shattering revelation. And now, with this concept, we can like try to realize that like sword as well, right? Magical density, will of its own, st stuff like that. Wow. Gazal is shocked. Yo, Gazal. Yo, even he, this guy's opening his air. His dad is opening his eye too. Yo, this is actually serious. This is a power fantasy moment. This is an academic power fantasy moment from Vesta and Gabiru, bro. Look at that. Dracula guy still there. Mm, the magicals mutated. Yep. We, while we might not really know what Magicules really are, well, ma Magicules is just like these presence of magic beings that monsters use for fucking magic and shit. I, would, I have to go back to what's the difference between magic and like skills. So that that Andy News video did a pretty good job, but at its fundamental core, it's just like these particles capable of magic. But now it's just like if you apply this shit, Things can mutate soul, will, therefore potion works. Okay. Trains, man, trains. Would not have expected someone like Gabiru to be part of this academic presentations, but here we are, man. I mean, Gabiru has always been, you know, working with Vesta in the in the Veldora cave too, right? It's kind of crazy these Veldora, I mean, sorry, uh, Gabiru do this shit. Can humans mutate with excess magicules? How does that work? Probably, right? Absolutely, they can. Maidori! Tepanyaki? Tepanyaki? Veldora Tepanyaki? Yeah, Majin is basically human mutated through absurd amounts of magicules, but hey, look at this. You enjoying the food? Can we have peace? Hello? Are you are you enjoying it? I don't get it. Are are you are you fine with the food here? You got a little bit there. I love how Benny was ready there. I know that this is just a joke and Hinata wouldn't dare pull the fucking sword, but Benny was ready, bro. Benny was fucking ready there, dude. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Oh no. Well, it's fine. Made outfit, Luminous. Okay, so earlier on, I asked why made outfit? But if you think about it, when we saw Luminous in season two, she was quote unquote, the maid, you know, while Roy Valentine seemingly was the demon lord. But even before that, what is Luminous's fascinations with maids? Does she just like being a maid? Does she like a maid outfit? She just enjoys the idea? I don't know. What's going on? ほら、ルベリオスさんの小麦は上質だし、購入したいなとは思ってなわるやつめ。交流といえば文化であろう。The music? She really liked that. Okay, so the vampire is like the the, the dude that I called Dracula was one of those, right? Okay. What are you changing for us while you get inspired by our music? Nerds. Okay. 
New ability. Secret of faith and grace? No, we're getting invaded. We're getting invaded. This can't be that. Secret of faith and grace. I feel like we're getting baited. Don't we already have that? It enables those who believe in you to use a portion of your power. I swear to God, one of those anti-news cut content already... I mean... Well, Shuna's faith in Rimuru as a god allows her to use holy magic, but like, I thought that there's to an extent where the people Rimuru names and the people that love him and are part of his like, crew do borrow power from him, right? Yeah, through Uriel or some shit. I forget. We have something like that. Yeah, they're are they talking straight up about holy magic? Because, like, you know, that's all about faith and believing a god. Okay. Woo! Hey, there it is! Contract made? Faith and grace. Alright, so not just people just right directed underneath the inner Rimuru, just more of Rimuru's followers can use it, so... I wanna see an application of this. Someone else use this shit. Maria Bell. Two of them! Who are they? Maria Bell? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker? <laughs> this motherfucker and Mario Bell. Mike, well, it's it's uncanny that as soon as we talked about this, we see Yuki, so I feel like that's just us directly being told, yes, it's Yuki and Mario Bell, right? It's gotta be. Yeah, <laughs> I love how everything Hinata eats is just like pure Japanese food, right? Just Sashimi, tempura, bro. Just the whole Japanese set here while they're just eating steak. Enjoyed it more than the kids. Veldora? Pseudonym's Grill. それよりも私はほら回復薬が効かない体質だし、それはマスを分解してしまうものと効かないものがあるのよね。確かに僕だってマソの影響は確実に受けているだ。影響は受けているんでしょうね。実際あなたはまるで成長していない。ちょっと、その成長は止まっているけどさ。それにしてもリムルさんも Is that the same for Hinata as well? Or is it just Yuki that the body doesn't age anymore? Is this like a specific trait for, you know, isekai otherworlders that are not summoned but just like spontaneously come here or is this like specific to Yuki? I'm not sure, but that was like a very interesting comment. Yeah, they just needed it. Alright, so Power fantasy moment. Bro didn't even know anything. We just yelled at it and it was like a fucking Nobel Prize worthy presentation. I mean, the whole purpose of this shit is to make Rimuru act like he doesn't know anything. It's just some like a clueless, dumb leader. But at the end of the day, the people around him are so fucking amazing that it just looks like he's doing such an amazing thing, right? That's that's the whole point of the gap gap moe of like aloof, ignorant Rimuru. I, I don't think he's completely unaware, but there's a lot of those moments. Milmar, what's going on? We got no money. Hmm. Where did I hmm. So it's, it's, it's Gazelle's fault. <laughs> Blame Gazelle, bro. Basically, we have money, but it's not recognized, and the other money, it's just too much money. How are we gonna get money right now? I'm telling you, man. Elif made cafe. Put all those elf slaves to goddamn work. All the sl all the slaves that Masayuki brought over, open up a um, Elif cafe and then make them drunk, right? Not the Elifs, but the clients, and then also have a casino right beside. And within a night, I feel like we could get all the money back. 
馴染みの王小売商どもが納得せず現金での支払いを求めておるというわけです。さようでございますわい。なるほど。単純に。Someone。このような方法で。Wait。Someone predicted this and knew this shit was gonna happen? Yuki, maybe? I don't know. Becca が俺たちの信用をなくそうとしている。Uh oh. その通りでしょう。評議会、ドワーフ王国で製造された金貨で行うとされております。今回の小売商。我が国独自のルールだと説明しても、簡単には納得してもらえない。無理無理 Can we just overpower them? <laughs> They won't agree easily if we explain that these are our country's rules. Not a chance. I mean, we could just fucking use violence, but we can't do that. No, the whole point of this is to make sure that they trust us. We want to be friendly. We can't just overpower and force it down mid. It's gotta be Yuki's plan, right? It's gotta be like Yuki and like East of Merch. It's all plotting this together. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Because there's no way Millen would ever even think about this shit. She's too dumb. There's no way the elf people care about this shit. Gazelle's too busy worrying about being a big bro. I doubt Gazelle did this shit. Blooming people, nah. It, it, it's, it's gotta be like Yuki, Easter Merchant, Mariabelle, like those side people, you know? <laughs> That's that. See, Shion. <laughs> I wanna do that too. I would love to run it down mid, but that kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> what an aggressive angle here from the cameraman. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna run it down mid, but that kind of defeats the purpose. What an aggressive angle here from the cameraman. That's right. Yep. Yeah, but I don't think any of them did it. Wow, Shion connecting the dots! Wow! <laughs> Even Diablo is showing recognition of Shion. Shion understood the plot. Even Diablo conceding. First secretary. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, what's going on today, Shion? The violin performance was amazing, and right now, too, you're on point. Who is this? Mjolnir is just like, yep. Diablo is just shitting on human beings and just talking about just like the disgusting cardinal sin natures of human beings. Mjolnir, yep. You right, Cook? Monkeys. Yep, we're all fucking monkeys. Mm-hmm. Mm. Diablo's cooking! Who is it? Second secretary. No, I wanted that! That was, that was a great moment from Diablo and... You know, sorry, first secretary and second secretary. Okay, it's fine. We can just simply make up that money, right? All we gotta do is just make enough money with the festival until it ends and then just pay that shit off with that money, right? いや、うなずくでしょうな。ですが、それには断固反対ですぞ。え、無理なんだよ。吹っかければ損をしてでも取り繕う国であると相手からそう認識させてみせると、とことんまで喋り尽くされるか。ちょっと勝負ですな。
Festival at night? What's happening at night time? And then <laughs> next episode, bro. Next episode's gonna be the nighttime festival shit, and then it's gonna be the tournament. But nighttime? What's happening? Yo, red light district. <laughs> Oh, we definitely go out to get some hoes tonight if Sheena's this mad. You can come with us too, Sheena. Oh, no! They skipped the night time! I bet the night time shit would have been DJ fun! Alright, day two, here we go. Tournament? Let's go! Next week, though. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this tournament is all I'm fucking waiting for. But finally, next week, we will get that. What was today's episode? It's just like the opening ceremonies, right? This whole orchestra stuff. I never would have expected that. Maybe they have, may, they, may, may, maybe they hinted at this a while back, but she don't play the violin like this? This is superb. She was so sophisticated, elegant, everything opposite of Shion. And I want to believe that she actually practiced to do that rather than using MasterChef to make this all good. And then, the whole academic research of Vesta and Gabiru. And again, you would never expect someone like Gabiru to be able to, I don't know, talk in such an intellectual way. But the whole thing is, you know, the existence of different herbs and whether or not one exists like that forever or not. No, it was a regular grass, mutated, magicule, soul, will. That's why the potions can heal a sword as well. We need to see more anti news cut content for more e uh, explanation on that. Luminous gave us a new skill, right? Faith and grace or some shit. So more people can just use holy magic and stuff like that other than just Shuna. But... I don't know. Raphael's uh, voice of secret of faith and grace has been learned was less than enthusiastic. Maybe this is troll, but it seems like it's just going to be holy magic that we can use. I don't know. And then the rest of it is uh, running out on funds, right? The money that we have, it's not really money. We have claimants assets, but that shit is not recognized. It's not minted Dwarven Kingdom coins. And then the stellar coins, it's just way too much. You basically have like a million dollar bill and you know, you can't just use that to fucking pay for shit. So what are we going to do? Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're gonna just force it down mid. Maybe not so much violence, but hey, you're in our country. You're gonna fucking play by our rules and that's it. We going into tournament arc. I hope to see Gopta just pop off. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.